Hello and welcome, this is STR Rank, and today I'm playing some more Hogwarts Legacy on PC. Let's go ahead and hop in. Alright, let's see. So, last we left off, um, I think I just completed a couple of quests, and I might need to sell some gear. Well, I've got a fair number of slots open, but just in case, I think uh, I'll go ahead and warp over to Hogsmeade and get my stuff sold. And after that, um, I will probably pick out another main story quest or a side quest first. I'm trying to do just quest now and not so much of uh, doing every Merlin trial. I might save that for later, but I'm kind of ready to wrap up the main story, I think. I'm eager to see how it all ends. Okay. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Not to level up a little bit before we use that other thing. I think this is a 34 and we're only halfway there. I from, hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Don't have too many levels left to go with the max only being 40. It's crazy. The headmistress speaks. Portrait of Professor Neum. Fitzgerald has appeared in the map chamber. I should go there and speak with her. Alright, map chamber. Oops. There we go. Uh huh. Welcome there she back. is. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Ah, oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Okay then. I wonder what I want to have to do with this. I guess we'll just try to get there as close as we can. Maybe something will pop up here in a minute. I'm not actually sure where his room is either. Do do do. Wow, I still haven't got that warp yet. Can you believe it? Um. Black Tower Courtyard, Faculty Tower, Hospital Wing, Hogwarts South Exit. Won't be in there. I'm guessing it doesn't actually have its own thing. Let's just fast travel out of the area and maybe we'll get a quest update. Professor Fig will know what to do. Ah. Let's just go through the castle. This will be fun.
You are the talk of the school since you saved Mr. Reb and I from the Ashwinders. We have come so far. We should discuss the next steps in our plan to stop Harlow. Okay. I think I'd rather do that than to go into this one. So let's do this one. Where is she on the map, though? I wonder if she's in Hogwarts or somewhere else. Let's see. It looks like maybe just the way I came. Probably could have turned around and got there quicker than doing the loading screen, but oh well. Oh, okay. I have been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and <sighs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. <sighs> Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savanna. Galloping? Your father was also an animagus, I take it. He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them and then he was gone. And it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He, and my mother, raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. I am glad you seem to think so, too. What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer. But I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him. As do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. But that does not mean that she likes it. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my. That is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry, as my mother does. But I think he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was. Truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. 
Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Okie dokie. So I guess we go back to this. Let's see, astronomy wing and professor figs. Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Oh. 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 Hmm. How do you feel? Uh, incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Oh, this is a surprise. I had no idea I'd get to use Polyjuice Potion. <laughs> Here we go. He's definitely a bit taller than Robert Wan Smith, isn't he? Let's see. Professor, a moment of your time, please. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... 
Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. All right. Let's see. Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. <laughs> I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. He did. Gareth! Uh, Mr. Weasley! What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor! Yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah! That's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. Okay. This is pretty funny. Well, there's one for my diary. This is a kind of comic relief mission. <laughs> Oh, this is a pretty setup. Oh, look at this uh, wreath on that grip. Um, I'm totally blanking out there. Called Hippogriff. It's about to call the Gryffindor. <laughs> Greetings. I mean, out of my way, children. <laughs> Headmaster. Here, what could he want? Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes! Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. All right, here we go. Stand proud, pure bloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. <laughs> Professor, a word? Ugh. Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We, we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor. More than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they're fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? You call that a shine on those boots? Do better! 
<laughs> All these random insults. Oh. Went up the wrong staircase. I kind of want a game playing as him now. Uh oh. Let's see, can I still cast? Looks like I can't. Darn it. I'll have to remember that that's there and come back out here one day. I was really off track on where to go. I thought for sure I was heading in the right direction. Oh, here's another one. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Bloom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Nonverbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Bloom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> mm, speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Okay. Something seems a little off with the headmaster. <laughs> Scrope. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I, uh, I simply mourn for the future of the wizarding world. Professor, I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How... how uh, delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never <laughs> that. I love all the comments as I want to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Oh, this is gonna be great. There's no doubt in Scrub's mind. Wow. I can't remember if it was snowing this much in here when I came in earlier. Looks good. I swear, things look like they have more detail to them than when I was in here earlier. Maybe they loaded up some extra stuff. Scroop! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh. But Master made Scrub swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. And now I'm telling you that you can tell me. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Hmm, I definitely forgot this. I want to say it has something to do with blood purity, it's though. pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is 
always pure? <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Ah, thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. <laughs> of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Uh. It's a broken oh, food. Off. Let's get out of sight. Uh oh. <laughs> Guess we better run, huh? <laughs> I thought it was the house elf that burped. Ah, <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. <clears throat> Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Hey, there's a thing I can light. Good break though. Nice. I don't think I've been up in this area before. So many interesting little nooks and crannies of the castle that I'm sure I still haven't explored yet. Let's see. This may be a little bit of a trek away, but we'll get there. We'll say I think still to say my only real complaint about the castle is just the fact that there are any little pauses for it to load as you go through doors. I just I really feel like they could have done better with that. And you know it is still impressive that they're able to do it as quickly as they do, but I think that um, I've seen games with seemingly more detail that didn't have to do that. That's okay. No game's perfect, of course. Hey, is that another thing I can... Hey, it is. Interesting. I did not see that before. That's pretty funny. I wonder how many of those are around the castle that I never noticed and uh, need to zap. There's another thing I haven't got. Trophy room. This room contains a house cut. Quidditch tr trophies, dueling trophies, and other awards given at the school. Students who step out of line can be found polishing the silver here by hand as a reminder of the value of hard work. Uh, where are we heading here? Uh, I think my guidance saying is off kilter a little. Oh, there we go. I don't know what happened. Oh, locked door. Let's see what's in Hello, there. Homura. No, I want to check it. Revelio. Okay. What is in here? I wonder where we are. Hmm. Oh, there's another room back here. This is pretty cool little room. I like it. I'm guessing it's one of the professor's rooms. Man, what a cool place to stay. Look at the, uh, I guess this is the stairwell here um, behind us. And I love the timbers and everything. 
Man, this is such a cool room. So many of the rooms are just amazing. Like I like I said before, I just can't believe how ornate everything is and they really did pack this game full of interesting and unique textures. Ah. I was wondering if I could pop one of those. Guess not. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Headmaster's office, gargoyle. The staircase that leads to the headmaster's office. It's guarded by an enchanted gargoyle that will let only those who know the password enter. Though anyone choosing to visit the current occupant of the office is difficult to fathom. <laughs> Toujours pure. Hmm. Kind of surprised it didn't uh, spin. I wonder if all the elite like wizarding elevator. families have a motto. Rebellion. Well, it's cool that we're finally getting to see this room. Here we go. Sleeping Fortress. Not all headmasters and headmistresses enjoy reliving the day-to-day -day challenges of running a school of witchcraft and wizardry. Some prefer to enjoy a well-earned nap when possible. Oh yeah, look at the snap here. <laughs> Okay. Hey, there's a way out here. Hello, Hamora. Definitely gonna do a little bit of exploration while we're up here since it's my first time ever up here. Let's see, is this I was gonna say is this area just for the view, but it looks like we can actually go up higher. Um let's take a look though. Oh cool. I think that's the train track for the Hogwarts, it's Hogwarts Express. I can't speak today. Hello, Hamora. Another unlock. All right. Is the second thing the key of admittance? Revelio. Oh, I guess I was supposed to come up here anyways. Okay. Professor Black, regarding your letter dated the 20th of September, I shall not reconsider the admissions process at Hogwarts. Regards, Ferris, Spavin, Mr. Magic, London. Huh. It's gotta be about my character, right? Interesting. Man, what a room. Could you imagine having this for you? Too bad there's so many supports in this glass. Like, I would definitely magic a clear pane of glass up for that area. All right, what is this? Oh, it's a sorting hat. Sorting hat. This enchanted hat was created by the four founders of Hogwarts as a means by which students would be placed into one of the four school houses. Skilled at agilimency, the sorting hat can see into the wearer's head, allowing it to determine their thoughts and abilities. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I wish it would talk to you, kind of like uh, it greeted Harry Potter at that one time saying, be any up on it, Potter. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it, as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Okay. First, I'm going to drink some tea. 
It's the British thing to do. I'm gonna look around a little bit. Receipt, hair tonic, mustache wax, bundam and hominade, or pomade, um, comb, pearl handled, back scratcher, gold handled, doxy side, made in very small part, remainder to be built with ministry. <laughs> Revelio. That must be the pedestal. See, it looks like there's something else to pick up here. And maybe another door? Oh, weird. There is a second locked door. Okay, let's do it first. Rebellion. No more wigan world for me. All right, let's see what else is there. Dear Phineas, the children have been asking about your return. Rovina, in particular, chooses to do so each at, each day at breakfast and is engulfed in a sulk when I remind her that you are ensuring the quality of her future education. Sirius and Phineas rarely send me an owl, although when they do, they never mention you. I'm certain they're proud of you and all that you're doing or Hogwarts. Having one's father as headmaster is a tremendous honor. Merlin helped me. Cygnus is now crawling and follows Arcturus about like an unwelcome shadow. Arcturus is begging for an invisibility potion and frankly I can't blame him. I'd be tempted to brew one if it weren't for the internal eternal sniveling that Cygnus would regale me with. Perhaps we shall see you during the next school holiday, but please don't feel any obligation. We can manage our seal. Rebellion. Alrighty, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, the potion we already tried. Okay. Uh -huh. Look at this little bus down. Is it looking at me? Oh, it is. Nice. I think I remember the uh, Haunted Mansion game on GameCube had statues that would look at you like that. And I remember thinking that that effect was so creepy and cool that they took the time to implement all that. I wonder if I can't read this until I'm on my way out. Um, Pretty sure I didn't read it earlier. Where am I? Professor Fitzgerald? Can you hear me? I am here. In this place. You may call me Leave. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. Hmm. No sign of a cloak yet. Kind of dig this. Uh, in this place, as filter. in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Oh, this is creepy. see I mean I am invisible but I'm guessing these guys will still be able to see me going straight down the middle seems too easy but heck maybe that's all I'm supposed to do I should have 
come when I could. I'd be free by now. Hmm. I wonder what this is, if this is a real event or something. Like this some is my version. Chance. I'm coming, Neve. I need to time this just right. Okay, let's see. So I need to go between this bunch of them. I'm gonna watch it and see. It's hard to tell. Ooh, this is tough. Maybe after they both start heading over. Yeah. Looks like this is gonna be it. I see a staircase straight ahead. All right. Okay then. Hello there. How could this happen? A ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Mm, looks like they already found you, buddy. can't do Revealio, so I don't think I'm missing out on anything as of yet. They're gone for now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? It's weird. It sounds like he's saying Neve, but Too I just many. did not think that cross this road as fast as I can. name was pronounced that way. Ah. I'm guessing that one is stationary. Is it going to turn around or patrol? The one on the left is the one on patrol. Perhaps. Well, maybe they're both stationary and it's just an initial walk by. This area sure is creepy, I'll tell you that. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Uh oh. It's beginning to remind me of Ocarina of Time of sneaking in to see Zelda with the stealth and the knights you have to deal with. Alright, so this one's going to require me waiting until he walks back and then... Oh, or maybe not. I'll just go ahead and cross. Okay, we'll give him a second to come back. Yep, here we go. Now I think I'm safe. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be another way to find you. Hmm. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Nope. Close tight. No way but forward, I suppose. Okay then. This is really cool. I kind of wish that there had been more missions like this. Um, like combination of stealth and just kind of alternate world. Hmm. Not positive about this one. I wonder if he's gonna come back out into the hallway. Now's my chance. Okay, here we go.
Watch out, birds. Okay, more ruins. That's the way forward. Here we go. Mysterious cloak. Oh, well, this has gotta be. I think I'm invisible. It's gotta be the cloak from the Death of Hallows. Invisibility cloak. I wonder if I'll get to keep this the rest of the game. That'd be really cool. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. No, even Death himself can see you. Peekaboo. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now, where are you, Neve? death thus far but have yet to find me keep searching but this time you will be unable to hide hmm. wield the wand you see before you do not squander its extraordinary power oh, okay well we might have two out of three deathly hallows here Here, jeez. Bombarder. All right, time to blast. Revelio. Guessing Revelio won't really matter out here. Stupefy one of for fun. Stupefy. <laughs> oh, you only get a few different uh, casts. Like I can't, I can't really sign or anything. That's strange. I wonder why they would limit me. I see that one. Me doing something weird. Defender. Descender. Bam! Give the one tier. It's like my spells are on like, almost instant cooldown to you on this. That's good. Cool. Yep. It's crazy crumble. Defender. Nice. Okay, who's next? Wonder if we can go under here. Oh, 
Actually, it's something. Just another Wig and Weld. I'm guessing that's all it's going to be in this world. Looks like I could use my maximum push and that's about it. For you and me, buddy. Oh, jeez. Some reason I only get these four spells. Got all my tools. Alright, Death, come on now. Try to regain this, buddy. Hmm, that was it. Did get my 30 combo on my dueling feats. I feel a little ashamed.
your stone. This must be for me. Okay, the resurrection stone. Guess we're gonna have one more thing to go through. I wonder why it's huge. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. Hmm. She's gone. Neve's dead. Oh, poor Neve. Gone so young. <laughs> Neve. Why? May her memory be a treasure to us forever. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Well, that's awkward. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival! And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Onia, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, it's Adora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Okay, uh, let's see. Interesting. I think it's like I'm behind her portrait or something. Oh. 
interesting. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other Keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Okay. Let's see. This is complete. Yeah. I think that I'll probably warp back to the uh, room requirement. Wow, only 260 XP for that, so we still have a ways to go. So I'm going to go ahead and work back to the room of requirement and if we get any voicemails <laughs> we'll uh, let them play and um, we'll probably call it a stream here in a minute. So let's see what happens. I there shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. So we'll do a quick run through our supplies here. We'll skip um, checking in on our beast for now. I don't think I collected that shovel fig. Let me try again. There we go. I don't know why that wasn't working. It just ran off. Okay. So I guess let's just go ahead and pause here for now and roll credits. Say thanks for watching. This has been... Oh, actually, let's go back to the game for just a second. I just saw a thing pop up. Here we go. Oh, I think it played while I was at the pause screen. Um, let's see what she said. Maybe we can go on the owl post. Uh, let's see. Where is our Professor Weasley? Do, do, do. Here she is. He tells me he shared with you his experience with the Phoenix. Please check in with him when you get a chance. He has an idea for you that I thought worth exploring. Oh, okay. I'm guessing this is going to lead us to getting the Phoenix. Ah, nice. 
Yeah, so um, that'll be a really fun thing to do first thing on our next stream. So let's go ahead and roll credits though, and I'll go ahead and say thanks for watching. It's been S Tier Rank. You can follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and on YouTube, and I'll have a replay up on YouTube soon. Thanks, have a good one.